to reports right but if you go to my target business you will not see anything because because we have not created anything and uh, for this we just created a metric card here so we need to do uh, the setup now so for that we'll again go to the metric and go to events click event listener go to general events the the event will be on click and create and here so it will be page action chains create a new action chain and then and then here we need to add a, a, a code here so let me Okay, so after adding the uh, this action chain, so we will get like this. Uh, basically, we need to uh, create a parameter and then we need to pass this uh, value. Okay. So go to again Visual Builder. Go to action chains. So go now, uh, now click here and add an input parameter here. So give some name here, something like uh, th this can be the parameter name. So whatever parameter uh, you you use it here, so that you can um, use in the later stage. Give the parameter name, and then create. And also you can give the a default value, something like. Um, So I'll copy this. I'll copy this to somewhere. And I'll also copy the parameter name. Okay, let's solve it. Here. And once we add a parameter, so then we again go to the action chain. Now we go to the code code mode. Uh, now if you see after adding parameter, so that parameter is taking this function. And then we need to in include our code here. The code is this if condition. So we are telling
um, so before that we also need to add up a variable uh, for this dashboard okay so this this is the dashboard variable so where we can add this is if you go to variables in in sales dashboard uh, page and you can see a variables here right create a variable and rename it so again uh, so whatever name you gave here so that you can refer in the uh, in the javascript code okay. and you can make it a uh, extension read and extension write by selecting this property so it will be can uh, update so it's also fine if you don't uh, uh, if you use read only, but it's fine uh, because the other one is read and write, so it should be fine. Basically, uh, if that variable needs a write operation, then you can you can choose both read and write. Otherwise, read only. So now I can go to action chains again. And since uh, this is a variable from my dashboard, and whenever whatever value, uh, um, so so basically we 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 are calling an action chain, right? So on calling that action chain, so we are passing some value, and we are storing that value into selected KPI uh, custom variable okay. um so now now we go to page designer and now switch to this container layout so this is metric container right so below to that we have the contents container so this is the contents container so here basically the same way how we uh, segregate uh, for sales rep and sales manager or any other role so you will have uh, but by default we have this my to do and pipeline right so for each my to do my to do metric so we have two different uh, sections so one for my to do sales representative another for my to do sales manager so like that uh, for pipeline also pipeline manager pipeline sales representative so like that we have four uh, the default one so now we we want so if we want to adjust uh, the standard ones so you can duplicate and then you can add uh, your own uh, your own content here so that also we will see but uh, we'll create a separate content container for this particular uh, metric part so for this i'll create a new case here i'll can rename it And here I can create a new section um, to add my content. Okay. So then previous. So we have already created the uh, the visualizations for uh, express reports, right? So we will use that uh, one of the report embedded into this go to the visualization uh, reports and check which report you wanted to add 
suppose i wanted to add this particular report okay opportunities at risk so that's that's my report and then reference number will be 9027 so that's what we need to note and then go to the sales dashboard create a new section and then give the name opportunities at risk right so that's the name And now we go to this particular section and then we'll add uh, the component. It created a new template and we need to add the template content here. So for this also we have uh, a separate, uh, I mean fragment. So you can add for each of uh, report, which of uh, type. So suppose if you want to add a visualization, so then you can choose this. The fragment for this is CX hyphen visualization. So that's the fragment for this. You can also find these uh, code snippets from the standard document. So that is how do I configure sales dashboard or I'm also placing in this document. So now if you look at uh, this fragment, so it takes parameter report number, which report number we need to uh, show and then context. So context will be dashboard and source will be DV. Uh, then dashboard title. So this dashboard title we can change. So uh, it's opportunity at risk. So I can also change here opportunities at risk. And then filter. So this is for the global filters. So we can keep it as it is. And then uh, the report number is 9027. I'll replace it. And that's all. So we embedded uh, that already. Okay, now go to the design mode. Get done. And then check the. So now to preview this. Yeah. It's already in opportunity at risk. So it is showing. It is showing here, but actually we did not associate here. Even if you preview now. Um, it doesn't so it doesn't show in the preview mode because we haven't yet linked it. It is showing the, the default one here, even without selecting this. So now we need to link uh, between this. So now if you, this is showing. okay. So it is showing always, right? It is showing always irrespective of selecting anything. Okay. That's because uh, we don't have any condition to show for the target uh, for my uh, dashboard, right? So here, basically, we need to add a, add our condition. Okay. It is showing by default without selecting. Uh, so we want based on uh, right condition. That is, if I select my target business metric, I want it to show the relevant reports for this. Okay. But now it's showing all because we don't have any condition. So to give the condition, you go to the function palette. And then you have, you need to uh, give that uh, variable name. And that variable name uh, is the one from the dashboards we have, uh, we have updated. Okay. 
so the value will be something like this uh, variables dot the uh, dashboard variables whatever we have selected and then value name so it will be like this and here uh, so we need to use the value that we have uh, we have provided a, we have copied right already so the value we provided is show target business reports so this is the value we we gave for uh, we kpa tab clicked and this value passed to that action chain and action chain updated the dashboard uh, variable okay so this is how it, it went. So we gave value for this uh, var uh, variable at action chain level, and this updated the dashboard variable. Okay, and we are now comparing that dashboard variable. So this value will be there already. So I need to replace this. And then save. Now, if you even go to live mode, so you can check here only on clicking on my target business, this report is showing. If you click uh, the other metric, so, so it should not show. Let me check the variable. Is correct. And this is also correct. Okay. Let me preview. You click on my to do at, uh, uh, metric, so it is showing these reports pipeline, pipeline reports, my target business, it is showing the opportunities at risk. So that is the only one report we have embedded currently, right? So it's working as expected. 